Hi, how's everybody doing? This is Orly. I have good news. Uh, so far, I am down about 104 pounds since I started my journey. I transitioned about a month ago from regular keto to carnivore, and I have noticed huge improvements on my weight loss and other things that, you know, I'm a, I'm a true believer in it, let's put it that way. One thing that's important to know is that it is very important to encourage each other to fight obesity. Obesity kills. Obesity causes so much damage to somebody's body that That, that is not even funny. One thing or another thing that I want to talk to y'all about is staying motivated and being creative with your workouts and also with your food choices. You can go to almost any restaurant and find menu items to be creative, to eat within the confines of your nutritional goals. Like for example, if you're on regular keto, you go to like Taco Bell or something and be creative with their menu to make it keto friendly. Or if you're a straight carnivore like I am, then you can do the same thing. It is very important to make sure that when you're doing carnivore that you up your intake and in electrolytes. For example, I have a big jug of water that I use to hydrate with, but I make sure that I use some Himalayan pink salt in there to stay hydrated. Plus I use electrolyte supplements. And plus another thing that I use is that I buy supplements that are capsules and it has organ meats in there because I don't like the taste of organ meats and I would prefer to take them in a capsule so that way I can get the nutritional benefits of them. Another thing that's important is a multivitamin, multi-mineral, taking it one a day and plus I take a, a vitamin C supplement and also, I take a zinc supplement as well. And then since I've been doing a lot of light weights, I've been also supplementing my nutrition with creatine as well. I'm still doing OMAD for the most part, but I also listen to my body and it depends how much I trained a specific day, I might add in an extra meal. So it is okay to be flexible at times and not be so rigid, as long as you become very in tune with your body. Another thing is the importance of having off days to let your body recover. You don't wanna overtrain it. And one of the biggest ways that you could help your body repair itself is ensure that you get enough sleep, rest, and relaxation at least two days back to back a week. So that way you can get back into it and start hitting the gym hard, start hitting, like me, I, I've, I've incorporated uh, swimming laps into my workouts, light workouts uh, with um, lighter weight higher reps, added in some half sets to help build up my muscle. And like always, I know I'm, I'm pretty random, you know, I just use this as my outlet to help y'all and also an outlet to, you know, share my thoughts because it's hard for me to write. It's hard for me to type because of my carpal tunnel and neuropathy. So I use this as an outlet 
to share my thoughts with y'all and you know kind of be like Johnny Appleseed plant seeds and maybe even encourage y'all to get healthier fight obesity and perhaps y'all could plant seeds yourselves currently I'm on a little bit of a mini vacation I'm in Goliad Texas so I'm learning from one of the best pit masters in the state of Texas, Mr. McMillan at McMillan's Barbecue in Fannin, Texas. Uh, today uh, was my first day. I have another day of learning tomorrow and I picked up a, a lot of stuff and this gentleman has been barbecuing since I believe it was either 1973 or 74 and he's a military veteran as well and if you get a chance, definitely try his barbecue. Definitely. I've traveled to numerous places all over Texas. And one of the very first things I looked up is barbecue places near me and steak places near me using Google. And I like to compare the places that I've ate to each other. And McMillan's barbecues one of the best, so I highly recommend it. The thing that I love about it too is since I'm a carnivore, I only eat animal products. So people will get the misconception that, you know, I just only strictly eat meat, which is incorrect. I also eat eggs, um, also uh, dairy, butter. I use that to cook with, especially ghee and uh, the only exception to strictly animal products is when I'm seasoning my meat with seasonings like pepper, uh, of course, salt, um, which it's not a plant, but it's a mineral. Um, maybe some peppers or something like seasonings. And, and, but uh, for the most part, I've had numerous people ask me why my skin is glowing and looks a whole lot better better now than what it used to. Well, I'm gonna let you in on a secret. I order from Thrive Market flavorless collagen protein. And that has worked wonders. And it's just one scoop a day. I put it in my coffee when I'm within my eating window and it really does help with my skin clearing it up and everything uh, furthermore the other vitamins and stuff that i take are really helpful in that aspect as well but like i said earlier one thing that i'm going to stress is that when you're on full carnivore you need your electrolytes because your body is getting rid of them fast. Your body processes electrolytes fast. It just passes right through your body. That's why I make sure like if I'm drinking coffee or drinking uh, from my gallon of water uh, when I first fill it up to always put about three or four dashes of Himalayan pink salt to help refill that electrolytes in my body because you will end up getting leg cramps and stuff, especially at nighttime if you don't do it. Well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out for today, but stay blessed. And as always, you could change your life. You could join the fight against obesity. You could plant those seeds to get others to fight against obesity. You fight up against obesity, you are definitely gonna feel healthier. Like for example, when my, there's a huge difference between my blood work back in March when I was still really heavy and blood work I took about three, three weeks ago, I believe it was, I'm completely off of my diabetes medication uh, I was originally at a 7.7 A1C. Now 
Powell is averaging about a 4.7 A1C, which is pretty low, even for somebody that doesn't even have diabetes. So my diabetes is in remission, even though I still have nerve damage and the other side effects of it, of the damage from the diabetes. Uh, furthermore, I'm off of my cholesterol medication, my thyroid medication, I'm off of that as well. So when it comes to proving that a person's way of eating is helping them, it's all about the blood work. I'm gonna say that again, it's all about the blood work. My insulin level is a lot lower. Like I, I pretty much put it in half and then uh, my triglycerides are low even for a regular person that's on a standard American diet. And that's because I've had elevated uh, triglycerides when my diabetes was out of control. Uh, furthermore, I do have fatty liver disease. Uh, my uh, enzyme levels were really high, like close to like, I believe it was like in the 80s or 90s. But now they're already down to single digits. So chances are that I pretty much almost reversed my fatty liver. But um, according to the blood work. So I really, I'm a true believer in keto. And once you become fat adaptive, you want to take it a step further, then you can incorporate carnivore, which is an extreme version of keto. And you are going to have some GI upset at first while your body gets used to eating nothing but animal products for the main, uh, main thing because I don't eat fiber at all. Uh, but after a week or two, your body gets used to it and uh, you'll notice some um, changes, positive changes. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and close this out for tonight. And over uh, 104, 100, 304 pounds lost so far. And if I could do it with numerous disabilities, you can do it too. I believe in you. If you have any questions or just need any motivation, reach out to me. And as always, I believe in you. God bless.